Hey guys, it's Jacob with Tandy Lab. Today we're going to be taking a first look at this Tandy 1000 SL. In 1989, when Tandy released the 1000 SL, smaller was the big rage. This trend would be ongoing until the 1990s. Tandy offered smaller versions of prior 1000 models by integrating components onto the motherboard. Using slower, less powerful processors also helped with small budget systems because the cases could be made small without the need for fans or other costly cooling solutions. The Tandy 1000 SL is a modified version of the Tandy 1000 SX. The case is different, and more components were integrated onto the motherboard. The 1000 SL sold for $899 in 1989, which would be about $1860 today. It had an 8086 CPU running at 8MHz, 384 kilobytes of RAM expandable to 640K, a 5.25 inch 360K floppy disk drive, MDA, CGA, Hercules graphics support, onboard 8-bit bi-directional sound, 5 8-bit expansion slots, a 67 watt power supply, a 101 key enhanced keyboard, and offered DOS 3.3 and Deskmate in ROM. Our system was purchased on eBay for $150. The only added hardware is a three and a half inch floppy disk drive that someone mounted a little recessed into the front of the case. It's in reasonably good condition with some grime and yellowing on the outside. Taking a look at the front of our system, you can see the Tandy 1000 SL badge, reset button, the microphone and headphone jacks, five and a quarter inch floppy drive, and the added three and a half inch drive. On the back, you can see the AC power connector, one keyboard and two joystick ports, a serial port, proprietary printer port, and the CGA monitor connector. That's all I have for you guys today. Uh, so make sure to check out the playlist of all of our first look videos. It's really enjoyable to look through and see how Tandy computers have changed over the years. And we'll see you guys next time.